Hey girl. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Valken, and in this video I'm going to be doing a pick a card for specifically just for your next soulmate that's going to be coming into your life that is on your path, right? I was actually inspired to do this type of pick a card for soulmates in specific because uh, I know with a lot of the soulmate pick cards they will offer like what a soul your soulmate soulmate's going to be like and for me in my type of readings I like to give people a sense of direction on how to get to their soulmate where they, like what lessons what 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 is it that they need to work on with themselves to help get to get to them to the point get you to the point of energetically or just mindset wise to be able to meet your soulmate or what steps that you need to take for like your life and your future to meet your next soulmate right because i can tell you what your soulmate is going to be like but if you don't ever take the proper steps that uh, spirits suggesting for you to do to get to your soulmate then it serves you no good to know what your soulmate's like if you don't get the opportunity to actually meet them and so that's what this pick a card in specific is for and what i like to think is a little bit unique uh for this type of pick a card and so if that does interest you keep on watching all right guys if you are new to pick a cards what i want you to do is to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths in and three deep, three deep breaths out. And after your third breath out, I want you to open your eyes and whatever pile was drawing, you felt drawn to the most or whatever image pile that you kept on seeing in your mind's eye, that is the pile that is meant for you. Some of y'all may feel called, may feel called to more than one pile. That is completely okay. Then I would suggest for you to take both piles, look at both piles and go with the cards and messages that resonate with you you have to rely on your intuition for that but once you do pick your pile uh, i always leave in the, the timestamps down in the description box and in the comments below so once you do pick your pile you can click the timestamp and you can get your reading started all right so people who chose pile number one let's just jump into your reading right now uh, this is definitely going to be a layered reading for sure uh for people in pile number one you guys chose the angel zachriel zachriel Zachriel. I don't know how to pronounce the names properly, but they are the angel of memory. So right off the bat, you guys, in pile number one, what I'm getting for you guys for your soulmate, I kind of want to suggest that you guys already know this soulmate. When you think about memory, right, this is something that uh, you already know them in some way, but like perhaps your y'all's path, like y'all's paths connected at one point, but then something happened to where you no longer we're speaking maybe there's just because like there's like a y'all were not like energetically or on the same wavelength at the time when when you guys met or perhaps you guys just didn't solve things properly maybe you guys are you guys in pal number one have recently gone to a fight with somebody or not recently but there's like someone that you no longer are connected to in some type of way this can be platonic or romantic you know when it comes to a soulmate and there's no limitations on what type of connection that will be but i definitely feel like it's you guys already know this person already and it's going to come to like you guys are going to have to work on yourselves both both parties are going to have to work on themselves to to be able to get to the point of where you guys will be able to reconnect again. You guys are both going to have to work on your personal power overall. Like, I feel like you guys both needed to, maybe you guys met when you guys were younger and just coming from a place of more insecurity. So like, maybe like your past like coworker or like a friend that you were in the same type of business with and um, misunderstanding, you guys just aren't talking anymore. Or maybe you guys just changed paths. Um, regardless of what it is, I feel as strongly as if because like personal power card as well, right? Uh, these two cards, so it's like personal power and personal protection. So, so much and so that I feel is like with these two type of cards, like this, I feel that's what you guys are going to be working on in pal number one. I'm really trying to like decipher the messages that are going on in my brain right now. But yeah, for you guys in pal number one, I feel as if what you guys need to do and i'm gonna speak singularly towards y'all but i don't want y'all to feel as if like y'all are just the issue it's not it's more so of like this is like the overall theme for you guys to be able to be more sure of yourself um what is it that you need to release right this is definitely like gonna be shadow work what is it that you need to release so you can reach your personal power what is it that you need to release that's from your past 
that's holding you back, right? Because we do have the waning moon. What is it that you need to release with the south node asking you what is it like implying with the past paired with again, remember you guys with the memory card. That's like this definitely, definitely you guys have connected at some point and then for whatever reason it is, you guys just haven't connected. Uh, you guys just weren't able to have like that fulfilling deep well not fulfilling deep connection but that long-term connection that some of you guys might be seeking i suspect so yeah that's definitely like perhaps why you guys have you guys haven't like reconnected yet because you guys definitely know this person absolutely there's just too many uh memory cards into this pile right now that yeah you guys absolutely know this person so definitely think about the people in your lives right now maybe uh, have a more come from a place of more compassion perhaps i don't know i don't know y'all situation right so let's dive into this a little bit deeper right so uh yeah with the boar card i definitely there's like this is giving me affirmation that with this type of soulmate y'all soulmate y'all definitely met them y'all definitely maybe had like a little bit of a friction and on some kind of way and spirits really asking you to Maybe ha be not, not yeah, kind of be the bigger person and like go in there with confidence after this type of reading and be like, okay, like I know from spirit now, I know from the cards now that uh, this is meant to be. So like they are worth, like this person is worth the effort of like putting in this energy, right? I'm really like working on it. Definitely feel like with some most of you guys, it's gonna be like a relationship type of thing. Uh, maybe like hmm. <clears throat> for those that are already single um, or maybe are in a relationship uh, but it's not quite fulfilling I feel like a lot of people in pile number one this is like maybe like a past ex at some point of uh, like an ex at some point obviously this is not gonna be for everybody but when we have the nine of water uh, talking about a love life I feel definitely like for a lot of people in pile number one, you guys are going to be opening your heart back up to this person coming from a place of forgiveness because you were able to work on yourself more. You're able to get your personal power that we were talking about before. You're able to really be more sure of yourself, maybe when it comes to like your own career, right? Maybe like this personal uh, protection that we were talking about previously is being covered with the five of earth and this is talking about fear surrounding money and like self-employment so maybe before you guys there is so much friction happening because there's so much stress around money or so much stress around trying to figure out where it is that you where your place is in the world and how you are going to be able to just work like live off of your passion and still feel fulfilled right maybe like yeah i feel as if like this connection you guys will have like you guys will just be coming from a place both will be coming from a place of just more sureness of yourself you guys won't be having so much hect uh not hecticness <laughs> that's not a word uh so much craziness going on in, like the home life i keep on seeing like maybe one or both you guys um part of maybe why you guys uh, started having uh, distancing apart it's because uh, moving places perhaps or maybe you guys are in places where it's not easy for you guys to connect and so sometime in the future you guys you and your soulmate are going to be able to have like that but those better finances of being able to make it work with them long term this is definitely going to be for a select few people who have like perhaps a um, long distance relationship and yeah full moon in libra win-win outcome is in forecast so you, you guys are definitely going to be rekindling something whether it's in a romantic way or whether this is just in a generalized way because i do want to say i don't want people to feel as if your next soulmate is specifically limited to someone that's like a past ex obviously it's going to be fitting for some people but for other people when it talks about a love life this is talking about just like really what it means this is like a deep connection because you can love somebody that in a non-romantic way you can love your best friend right think about it that way when you think of a soulmate you're going to have that deeper connection so maybe the first time around okay this is coming together maybe the first time around part of the reason why it didn't even hit you that you guys were soulmates is because you guys just were too insecure in your own selves you guys didn't have enough of you guys maybe one or both parties didn't develop enough of personal power yet to really see that and so your insecurities were like coming through heavily when it came to this person and so you guys never had the opportunity to have like a deep connection and so maybe um you're able to acknowledge that now with the boar card and be able to be like okay let me just 
ignore my insecurities, be sure of myself and put, a, put like a bait out there, put some bait out there, right? To see how they react, right? Because we have the weasel card and this is like putting some feelers out there and be like, okay, so let's see how they feel if I like do this Facebook post. Let's see if they like this. Let's see how they handle it when I post this Instagram photo with this type of caption, right? Maybe it's a little bit more saucy. <laughs> just, you know, just kind of like letting it be known that you want to connect, re rekindle something with them. Letting it be known that you want to reconnect with them. You may say that you already have put some feelers out with them, but uh, they haven't, the other person hasn't responded to you. This is like with the board card as well. You have to like fully like take action for it. Like you have to be obvious in your intention, right? You don't like, uh, when you think of a boar, like a boar is not, I mean, I guess a boar actually can be kind of sneaky. Um, but <laughs> when you think of a boar charging in, like they're not being like stealthy about it. They're full straight ahead. You clearly know when a boar is going to be attacking you, um, sort of thing. And obviously you're not going to be attacking your soulmate, but you want to let, you, let your intentions be known, right? Seek out information is paired with, because I pulled the vine card, right? Seek out information. So it's like paired with the weasel card. You definitely just want to put feelers out there, let it be known, set your intention out there, and then just see how things handle themselves. You know, see if that person is ready. Maybe, uh, because you don't know yet. Maybe you already, maybe you already reached your personal power, your personal protection, you're, you're sure of yourself, but maybe your person isn't quite yet. So you have to like, know. Uh, the gong and exciting event, I feel like definitely for some people, um, I feel as if like for some people, this is definitely going to be for a select few people, but I feel like you met this person at like an event of some sort, maybe like a festival or something like that, because we have the life experience card talking about a significant life event paired with the gong card talking about an event. So this could be one or two ways because, you know, when it com comes to tarot, you have to translate the message. It could be either mean that you guys met them, this person at a past event or the soulmate coming forward to you because you, um, for those that haven't met their soulmate yet, you're going to be meeting them on, at like some type of event. Um, and it's through like rekindling this connection with them again that your life completely completely changes. That's why you get the concerns fading away. And so, yeah, it's completely reliant on you opening your heart, coming from a place of more compassion, King of Water, for this to, for this connection to rekindle itself. But you have to open your heart with the King of Water, but still own that boar energy, even though the boar is not glamorous, right? But it gets the job done. So that's definitely the messages that I have for you guys in pile number one. I really do hope this message resonated with you and hopefully this type, unique take on soulmate connections was helpful to you and gives you some hope. And if this reading did resonate with you, I would love to hear about it in the comments below which card resonated with you the most, which one like called out to you as well. Uh, I want to point out with these two cards and for those who are into numerology, uh, one of them was the number 20 and the other one was 44. Something I wanted to point out. Let's see, am I covering all the bases for the details for pile number one? I just want to keep on hanging out with you guys in pile number one, right? Oh, and then li the life experience card, uh, number 16 or seven, right? So yeah, that's the messages that I have for you guys. And so if this reading did resonate with you, I would love to hear about it. And also give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, bye. All right, people in pile number two, I had to take a breather and like soak in some of this good citrine energy before I started y'all's reading. So y'all chose... Y'all, I'm not even gonna be trying to pronounce this angel's name, but it's the angel of verdancy. So that's the theme for you guys. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. I'm not entirely sure what verdancy means and I don't wanna find the booklet for it, but just because with this type of artist as well, they're very big on imagery and this is how I use the utilize this deck especially. So for this type of deck, I will show it while I'm like one-handedly taking out some of y'all's cards in pile number one, two, my bad. But yeah, uh, for some of you guys, the imagery may resonate with you. But for me, with the messages that I'm getting from looking at the photo itself is I feel like it's heavily talking to you guys about giving, growing something. I feel definitely like you guys might be this, your soulmate might be related to your career in some type of way. Um, or there, this person is going to have like a similar interest with to you at, in some like whatever you want to be doing in terms of career or like a passion project that you want to create to to make it to be your career. Does that make sense, you guys? In pal number two, 
Definitely though, I feel like they're going to be the one that's going to assist you in your goals. So think about it in the type of way of like, uh, if you're like a dancer, they might be like a choreographer, or if you're like a singer, they may be a producer. That type of energy where it's like, you guys aren't doing the exact same thing, but you guys are still kind of like in the same field of where you guys are able to really help each other out in some type of way. You guys are going to definitely share some type of passion with one another. It's going to definitely be a transformational time for you guys. Once you do meet them, I feel heavily the soulmate is going to transform your life in a very positive way, obviously, right? Because they're going to help give birth to your dreams from whatever verdancy means right so i mean y'all in the comments let me know in the what verdancy means <laughs> that can be our little like inside joke everyone else is gonna be like why the heck are y'all talking about verdancy that didn't watch this pile regardless um <laughs> it took too much energy from the citrine but yeah this definitely i'm um, for you guys in pile number two this person is going to help transform your life more so heavily in terms of career but i definitely feel in terms of uh, past like emotions as well like this is they're going to completely change you not completely change you as a person but change you as a person but both sides as well maybe this person hasn't like you're going to interest them into this creative outlet for them so maybe if you are a dancer you're going to inspire them to be like a photographer or something or maybe vice versa maybe they're like a photographer and you never considered like dancing or like modeling but because of their artistic ability you you your path starts changing right it starts transforming your life starts transforming into a positive way they're going to help see like part of the process of how this your soulmate's going to help uplift you and help you meet reach your maximum potential and help you transform is by showing you full moon and virgo that you are good enough right so whoever you guys may know this person already i kind of suspect for a select few, y'all might not already know this person, so this pile number two, this is going to serve more of like an affirming reading. Y'all y'all obviously know, but for other people, I feel like this person is uh, coming up into your life. So um, this person, if you have like this person that recently, I feel like if you already know this person, they recently, maybe, and I say recently in like the past six months, I feel like this person in the past six months has recently started connecting with you and they, like, they've helped you with your self-esteem. And it's through this like long-term connection that they've been able to watch you from afar, you've been able to watch them from afar and observe their creative talents. And that's how like it helps and inspired you. And maybe you didn't already just meet this person in the past six months is the message I'm getting. That I wanted to like really like make clear as well. Um, but maybe you guys just, maybe you've known this person for a long time now and it's just recently that you guys have like in the past like six months this past year in of 2020 you guys have started really getting close and like developing a deeper connection i definitely feel that um great personal sour sorrow so teardrops maybe um yeah i feel like this person is definitely maybe you guys have opened up to them about some of your past stuff um so yeah like definitely this is yeah, this is giving me the affirmation if you already know this person and like you started connecting with them more in this past year you guys started connecting with the, connecting with each other more based off of like your trauma for example so it's just like you've known them for a while but then something happened of where you guys were able to be like talk about that deep stuff not surface level stuff anymore and that's how you guys started connecting more and it's through them uh through this connection that you start having faith in your dreams again because they're going to show you your potential right the waxing crescent moon gorgeous photo by the way um and then we have the fixed moon hold your vision as well so it's like they're gonna help you hold your vision to give birth to your dreams right to help you have faith into your dreams you guys are going to motivate one another and it's through motivating one another that you're going to have that transformational experience right it's going to definitely this is where i get going right when it, the pieces i start connecting all the puzzle pieces together but with the eight of air this is talking about an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence again so this person is going your soulmate it's going to be really someone that's going to help boost you up and realize your potential um afraid to take action as well i feel like this person is going to be challenging you because maybe they're thriving and you want to like be on their level and it's kind of motivating i definitely just feel like overall like they're going this person is going to help you no longer have the excuses the fallback excuses that you once had of why you no longer did such and such or why you no longer uh pursued this passion or something like that like this per this soulmate person is really going to help motivate you in 
a career oriented way. They're going to help organize things as well for you with the two, uh, two of earth, too much going on at once. Uh, the need to take a, uh, to, the need to make a decision and consider, yeah, I feel like with this one, this card, like you guys are just, you guys are able to, you guys have the talent to, this is going to be like a side reading outside of the, uh, soulmate, but like, I feel like you guys already have the talent to, but it's going to be because to succeed, to, uh, be, get that public recognition for whatever your creative talent is for a lot of people but it's through this person through your soulmate that they're going to help really give birth to the stream overall they're going to help remove like the excuses that you had and um help you refine like fine-tune things so if it's like maybe y'all have like an etsy shop for example or maybe you guys just started like working on your personal brand or maybe like your personal business like this person is going to be like that accountant that can help you take care of your taxes or they're going to be able to be like your manager in some type of way help fine-tune things maybe they are have like a better mind for like instagram and they can help run your instagram account or something like that i feel like that's just how this person is your soulmate is is going to really help you overall just get you to the place where you feel more prepared and also have the confidence to pursue this passion we have the night of fire setting the event um definitely i feel like for you guys when it comes to your soulmate like i feel as if it's going to be like a like it's going like the energy is build, building up definitely the energy is definitely building up in that if you haven't already met your soulmate or you haven't like connected with your soulmate on a more personal level where you're able to relate to them more something's going to be happening that forces you to connect with them and maybe that's like what the teardrops card represents right maybe something not to really be a bummer but maybe like the teardrops card is the sign that um something happens soon and that's going to be what brings you guys together and that makes you realize that you guys there's like a deep connection there for you guys to be able to relate to one another definitely it's the message for some people that i'm getting um the the moon uh important insights and yeah this is just talking about like they're going to really help you release your fears this person i feel like is just very like when they're in the room you just feel more confident when you're talking to them you just feel more confident um they help you stand tall the elk card they help you find realize you what the the dignity that you have and to realize the respect that you deserve like the just this person really just impacts you in such a positive way which is what you kind of expect right when it comes to a soulmate connection they're going to really for you guys as the last card the two of fire saying that you've come into your own and new partnerships definitely this person coming into your life or this soulmate person is going to somehow be interconnected with your y'all's career they're going to help you come into your own and that's through yeah it's just through this connection if you guys have felt like you guys have been in a rut through for your career or business endeavor i feel like part of the reason it may be that way is because like you're waiting for your like something needs to happen for this person coming into your life to have like your career take off like it's waiting for your passenger your soulmate to really start taking off first so maybe if you've been in a rut recently see start analyzing the relationships that you have in your life right now and start uh, prepping yourself and be more open to uh, future connections if you haven't already met them, right? That's definitely something I'm going to suggest to some of you guys that'll be helpful for you guys because I feel like the soulmate, this soulmate, I don't feel like is far. If you don't already connect with them, I feel like they're definitely extremely close around in your kind of like radius, maybe in like the same town. So yeah. Uh, take that as you will. But that is the messages that I have for you guys in panel number two. I really hope this gives you a sense of direction and some hope, right? This is really fun to do. Let me know which card resonated with you. If this reading did resonate with you, I would love to know about it because I am nosy, right? And if, it, if you did find this reading helpful, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, bye. Hello, people in panel number three. Let's get into our reading, right? Uh, Y'all chose the Israfel. I don't know how to pronounce this one's name either. I should have practiced this before I sat down for this reading, but the angel is song. So definitely the soulmate person is, your soulmate is a definite creative artistic person, or you are. I feel like at one, someone's creative, but I definitely feel like your soulmate's creative if you're not. Um, I feel like that's gonna be the overall theme as well. So let's get into this spread because I don't know y'all's cards, right? Uh, yeah, one person, yeah, just looking, already looking at these cards right off the bat, you guys in pal number three. One of you guys, someone is the artistic one and the other one is not. 
but it's through the other individual the first indiv individual the artistic person that really inspires the other person um so like let's go into this a little bit more uh we have the balsamic moon a time for healing so this person i feel like this this message more so is before you guys connect to your soulmate or have a deeper connection with your soulmate or um this is obviously going going to be for those that are seeking this message that aren't reaching it for an affirmation and wondering where their soulmate is but for some people i feel like you guys need to do a little bit more shadow work you need to be doing a little bit more shadow work or maybe your soulmate needs to be doing a little bit more shadow work before you guys start coming together but there needs to be um some type of balance right some maybe some stuff has been going on right now that you guys have not re really been able to connect because of like some like family issues some health issues some personal issues of some type maybe like some mental issues i don't when i say mental issues i mean just like anxiety and stuff like that right but there needs to just be like a little bit more of a balance you have the full moon in pisces paired with the balsamic moon yeah definitely someone needs to do a little bit more healing before there's a connection made and there for those who are seeking affirmation for their soulmate the person that you, your soulmate is someone that's really been able to bring more balance into your life and be able to like maybe like this person was kind of like triggering for you at first and brought out a lot out of you but um and so it's kind of like rough at the beginning but it's through like this process like they forced you to heal a lot they forced you to really find this balance in yourself one of you guys may have been like the spiritual one yeah i feel like with the that's perhaps what <laughs> this uh combination means is that like maybe one person was spiritual and the other person wasn't one person's creative and the other person wasn't there's some type of like someone's bringing in some type of like What's the energy that I'm thinking of? Some type, yeah, just like a creative, like magical energy that is just like, and the other person match compared to the other person that's a little bit more rigid. Or maybe they were a bit more free flowing, but like through time, through like these like traumatic events, like they've been a little bit more hardened. And so like, uh, again, this is gonna be a specific message for some people that already have connected with their soulmate and are seeking some insight. Um, I feel like you guys, are going to be healing towards them or they're healing towards you and help show you that it's like the, you're someone's illuminating something in somebody where it's like someone that was a little more free-flowing and more of like this song person that was balanced right that was spiritual as well they've kind of lost sight of it because they've been working so hard they've been like worrying about like their loved ones right uh, the new moon in Cancer saying that you and your loved ones are safe. Like maybe they like someone's been like you just been on for so long, and so like because you've been on for so long, trying to just take care of things, trying to take care of the ones you loved, you lost sight of your own spirituality, and it's through the other person that helps you show, makes you realize that out of, the uh, the other person helps you helps them realize that they're out of balance and like illuminates that in, in them and helps them get back into their groove of things instead of being so rigid right uh we have the gorilla card as well taking time to listen compassionately yeah definitely family members mm. you know something people don't talk about that often that i noticed and i feel like a lot of people don't ever consider it but family members are definitely like can be your soulmate right can even be like your parent <laughs> Just because like think about it in this way i mean obviously this is going to be controversial controversial thinking for some people because they can't fathom their parents not having like some deep connection to them spiritually but you know i feel like for some people they don't consider like the depth and full connection they have with like a family member with like your sibling to be like a soulmate thing because yeah they, like just of like in today's society where it's like you're expected to have like to be close with your family there's a difference between just being close with your family member but then being close with them on like a deep spiritual level where it's like actual like there's substance there past like what is expected what is the norm does that make sense so for some people it may consider some family members um look at it in that way and so yeah let's go into this a little bit more let's see uh where we have to go a little bit more maybe a little bit detail on the soulmate themselves right we have the queen of water definitely i feel like this was a an aha moment for some people when it came to the family card i feel like maybe if not a family card someone that's like extremely close to you in some type of way that you never considered them to be like a soulmate perhaps 
uh, the candle card. Yeah, you'll be shown the way. You'll definitely know who this per. You definitely will know who this person is for sure. Um, yeah, when it comes to the Queen of Water card, this is talking about a new, like, developing into a new level. That's why I say, like, it's an aha moment because you realize it's just like, oh, that has that, that's possible. That has the potential of doing that. You'll know about it. Trust your intuition. That's what the Queen of Water says, right? Trust your intuition. Trust that there's going to be a path that is shown to you. Uh, maybe for some people, and for a select few people, you guys connected in this, into the past and you guys got into an argument and you're just waiting for things to settle a little bit because we do have the five of air um, talking about an unwise choice and like reviewing people's uh, emotions and motives and stuff like that. Maybe for some people, you guys have put things in some per in perspective. You guys haven't talked in a little bit. Similar to another pile. I can't remember if it was pile number one or pile number two, where it's just like a little bit of friction. You guys haven't talked in a little bit, but it's through like this realization that they could be like a soulmate person, like that your relationship builds off of that and that goes into like a deeper level. You start making that queen of air decision, the definitely queenly, yeah, well, queenly energy a lot of queen energy so i definitely feel as if you're so like maybe there may not necessarily be a female um but or woman rather uh but they have this individual may have like a lot of feminine energy perhaps i want to apologize first i don't mean i didn't mean to say female i didn't mean to say woman um if they may not your soulmate may not be a woman but they definitely have a lot of feminine energy or at least in touch with their feminine side like you can you know they're not overtly just out of balance when it comes to like masculine energy but regardless um this person your soulmate is going to like um if someone is a little bit more lighthearted as well right um, when I talk about like the creative energy, someone's there's someone that's just a lot, a lot more playful, someone that's a little bit more rigid, and someone that's more wavy, someone that's more playful, um, for sure. Ten of air, the end of a diff end of a difficult situation. Expect things to get better now. So yeah, this is definitely making some sense. Maybe you guys split ways for a little bit because there needed to be needed to be some healing. But after this healing process, you guys have been able to start rekindling things a little bit definitely interesting uh yeah that's the reading that I, that's the messages that i have for you guys for your guys's pile and pile number three if this reading did resonate with you then please let me know in the comments below let me know which card resonated with you i'd love to hear about it because i am nosy but yeah for you guys overall in pile number three your soulmate this is i feel like your soulmate is definitely like when you do connect with them like they're definitely going to be like their purpose as a soulmate is to trigger you so <laughs> this is just like a channeled message that i feel drawn to tell you guys and so it's just like when you have those type of because that's we have those type of connections right are when you think of soulmate it's not just like people like to think that a soulmate's just like a perfect connection that's not the case whatsoever for so some soulmates like there's they're there to teach you something and the only way to teach you something is by triggering something in you and by triggering you that's when you're going to start working on yourself and this could be vice versa well, this is going to be vice versa so like you guys are both going to be triggering each other in a lot triggering each other a lot in a lot of ways so i want to keep, keep have you guys keep that in mind in pile number three like your soulmate it would be very easy for you guys to not consider them a soulmate or to cut connections with them because it's like gosh every single time i'm with this person they just bring something out in me obviously there's a difference between like the being triggered where it's like okay i need to work on something like it brings something out in yourself that you need to work on or if someone's just being toxic there's a fine line and that is up to you to leave to your discretion i'm not trying to normalize people being triggered by their relationships and friendships because there should be a balance between girl i don't y'all know y'all aren't here for that kind of spiel but if this reading did resonate with you guys please let me know in the comments below let me know which card resonated with you i'd love to hear about it and also if you would like to help this channel out please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but i until next time you guys i will just end this reading here i love you guys so much thank you so much for listening Bye. Hello everybody in pile number four. You guys chose Tiferet, the heart card, beauty card. Definitely I'm feeling like you, this, you're either your soulmate or you yourself are a cancer or someone that has um, cancer in their chart. Maybe they're someone's a lot really emotional in some type of way. Uh, and I want to be willing to bet a lot of people in pile number four are... Uh, 
not in a committed relationship because this is the thing i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be extremely blunt here some people they may feel like when i say like oh some people like this their next soulmate's going to be like a relate like deep relationship and they're already like they're hearing the message and they're like that's not me because i'm in a relationship you know i'm not trying to tell people that your relationship is not going to work out obviously but regardless, obviously you guys will know if your relationship is something serious or not. That's really what I'm trying to point out to you is that if you, if you are willing to like look at your relationship objectively and be like, okay, is this going, going to go long term or is this to just pass some time or whatever, you whatever the case may be, you guys know, like no judgment, whatever. Um, <laughs> I won't harp on it too much longer, but getting into our messages right now um for those who are seeking their soulmate you're definitely going to you're being suggested to from spirit to start incorporating magic start doing some manifesting start doing some rituals you guys because it's going to be once you start incorporating magic that's like the secret ingredient that gets you to where they're going to start coming into your life where the energy starts really going rampant because i feel like it's a one-sided thing maybe one person's actively seeking or actively trying to manifest their soulmate or and the other person isn't so the energy isn't being matched you know maybe one person's in a like and is single and the other person is in a relationship but they're in a relationship that's not fulfilling that they know is not going to go anywhere but they don't want to be single that's maybe what the message was about from earlier and so it's just like you don't make yourself available because you just don't want to be single and because you don't want to be single your soulmate that's meant to be in a relationship with you doesn't connect with you because you are being in a relationship with with somebody that isn't fulfilling you that isn't going to be depthful that you know isn't depthful that's something i want to say like i'm not trying to say that if you're receiving this reading and you're in a relationship i'm not trying to imply that your relationship is not going to work out because you'll know how your relationship is if you're willing to be honest with yourself you're able to know if your relationship is long term or not so something i'm not trying to say i'm not trying to imply that if you're taking this message your relationship's not going to work out you guys kind of will know already deep down in yourself through your intuition if your relationship is long term or not so yeah as i was saying those the, incorporating some ritual magic incorporating some effort so someone needs to be putting in a little bit more effort um and once you start putting in that extra energetic effort that spiritual that metaphysical occult effort the full moon in aries a fiery climax approaches maybe your aries or maybe your cancer person comes forward a lot your soulmate comes forward because you start matching that energy right so that's just a suggestion for some if you're seeking your soulmate so for some y'all are just here to have an affirmation for your soulmate that's already in your life right but I do want to keep, tell you to keep in mind that we do have more than one soulmate. For some people, Spirit's going to really be suggesting to uh, fix your vibration a little bit. Or maybe not fix your vibration because that's kind of like a negative connotation that you're not enough. But, you know, I feel like right now for a lot of people in pile number four, you guys are dealing with a lot of blows. And so I know y'all came here for a soulmate reading, but I'm going to give you like just like a little message from spirit so you don't feel too def like frustrated if you're waiting for your soulmate to come forward but it's feel like either you or your soulmate is dealing with a lot of blows right now and like so it's like that's part of the reason why they're not able to connect with you maybe you already know this person and you know they're your soulmate it's like gosh like why is this per why is this person just refusing to connect with me why are they not working with me they still have some stuff to figure out with themselves right the wolverine card we also have the third quarter moon adjustments are required some someone in the party needs to do some adjustments first before they're able to connect with you before a connection is going to truly be made so if you feel if you are feeling lonely right now if you feel as if it's just like frustrated like waiting for your soulmate to come um they are coming but someone like you either you or the other person needs to be still like they're going through their thing and that's like just trying to figure themselves out first we do have the road one runner card as well um i feel like this is kind of like a suggestion for you to um be a little bit more playful if you're not going through a lot right now or even still yeah no i'm gonna take this that moment back real quick um i feel like you guys need to be if you're trying to attract your soulmate right now or maybe your soulmate is already like a chipper person um if you're searching for affirmation for your soulmate your soulmate is probably i would suspect more like a 
they like to banter a little bit. They're really playful. They're a little bit of a prankster. For some other people though, this is going to be a message of spirit suggesting you to be a little bit more playful and have your play more playful energy because that is what your soulmate's going to be attracted to because they're going through um, their tough stuff right now. Um, they just need to go through like their own healing process. And maybe hearing that message, that may be a little bit uncomfortable for you. But if you are, this is only going to be for the people that are being serious about trying to connect with their soulmate, right? Um, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone, the North Node, and to be maybe a little bit more playful. If you are, maybe um, your soulmate's playful and that's just not the kind of energy that you're used to. Maybe you just want someone that's more mellow, more introverted. And maybe your uh, soulmate is someone that's more extroverted. And you have to be more open to the possibility that uh, your soulmate is someone that you can click with is completely seemingly opposite of you. Something to keep in mind as well. Um, but yeah, uh, so a side message as well. I feel like once you guys connect with your soulmate, there's going to be a lot of just overall just happy, like things are going to start elevating a lot. A lot of positivity is going to start happening with you guys. Or uh, work, a suggestion from Spirit to start uh, doing something with your soulmate. If you already know who your soulmate is, this is the Queen of Fire paired with the Sun card as well. This is this is kind of like a suggestion. There's a lot of fiery energy here, by the way. So maybe someone's in this dynamic as a fire sign, um, regardless. Uh, this is, can be like a message of two things. Um, one, this could be, uh, once your soulmate comes into play, they're going to be of some type of equal interest to you, uh, where, or maybe like in a work environment. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. If, if you haven't met your soulmate yet, they're going to be in some type of work environment where I like share like some similar type of passion, uh, or maybe like in the same form or community or of some type. Um, for other people who are who already know who their soulmate is, spirits suggesting for you guys to do some type of creative project with them, because it's going to be successful. Because you're missing out on an opportunity. The four of water is spirits telling you you're missing out on an opportunity. You need to be more open to the possibility because something here can be really successful here with your soulmate, but something you guys aren't willing to be. Someone's not willing to step out of their comfort zone and make the adjustments required to really have that success and that abundance. So. Yeah, that's definitely a message, you know, like once you guys start getting it going, you know, once you start working on that project, some of y'all, that's when that fiery climax approaches. That's when that magic moment happens, right? But you have to open your heart to that possibility, right? Look at that card, big imagery card. I love this card so much. I love how that reading turned out, you guys. I hope this reading did bring you some resonance and gives you a sense of direction and helps just I hope really this reading just uplifted you. Um, if this reading did resonate with you, let me know which card resonated with you. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below because I am nosy. Um, but yeah, if you do want to help out this channel, it would, it would help me out so much if you did give me a like and subscribe, only if this reading did resonate with you. Um, but until next time, you guys, I really loved connecting with you. I really enjoyed this time. And I'll connect with you guys again soon, hopefully. Bye, guys.